Special. Hello, my name is Pranay Saraneni. I'm the Knight Career Development Assistant Professor in Civil Architecture and Environmental Engineering at the University of Miami. This is the Access Lab, the Advanced Cement Chemistry uh, Engineering and Sustainability and Science Lab. And here we work at the intersection of material science, chemistry, and engineering of cement based materials. These materials are very important because every year we make more than 30 billion tons of these materials. Big picture, or the ultimate goal of this lab is to improve the sustainability, the durability, and the resilience of these materials. The fundamental science that we do is in uncovering the processing, microstructure, macrostructure relationships among these materials. So, welcome to my lab. This is a very simple 3D printer. We make a lot of nice things like welcome to the U signs, but also here is a prototype or an example of a concrete seawall. So we use this for rapid prototyping so that we can check that our designs are okay. This is what is known as a ball mill. Essentially, we put specimens inside and grind them down to whatever fineness we desire. So this is used for modifying fineness uh, of specimens uh, powders as needed. Here you will see just uh, balances and other routine uh, equipment. This thing, this is known as an isothermal calorimeter. The computer is attached there. It's actually one of uh, this, the pieces of equipment that we use the most. So what this does is it maintains a constant temperature. And at that temperature, it measures heat release coming from any sort of specimen. So when cement reacts with water, it releases a certain amount of heat. And that is what is being measured in this uh, equipment. We run it almost every day. We can run eight samples at once. We've run thousands of samples till now. If you move a little bit forward, this is known as dynamic ray absorption. Essentially, it tells you the relationship between uh, porosity of a material and the size of the pores, etc. So how it operates is, again, at constant temperature, it changes the humidity. The humidity goes up and down. As the humidity changes, the material uh, sorbs or dissolves based on its pore size distribution. Using some fairly complex uh, theory, you can determine the pore size distribution of porous ceramic materials using this device. The next device is known as thermogravimetric analysis. This is essentially a very, very precise balance housed in a furnace that can go to 1000 degrees Celsius. And we use this to determine mass changes in these materials. Ying? Hi, my name is Ying. I work in this lab. And now I am testing the fiber sample using our TGA equipment. Thank you very much, Ying. So the test actually takes about an hour and a half to run. Ying has just inserted the specimen, but after it runs, we get the data, etc. Uh, these are just balances, uh, ovens, etc. We use this for routine specimen storage. Uh, here, my other PhD student, uh, Shubha, is measuring bulk resistivity. Essentially, what this does, it, it's a tool for quality control. It tells you how resistant a material is to the flow of electricity. Shubha? Hello, I am Subha. I am uh, I'm doing a bulk resistivity test now. Here you can see the results. Thank you, Shubha. So, based on this result, we can actually tell that this is a specimen of a very high quality concrete. Okay, uh, if you come along with me. So this is a small space, and most of what we do here is smaller scale stuff. We collaborate extensively with faculty in other uh, labs, both from the department and out of the department, to do larger scale stuff and to do smaller scale stuff as well. I won't go into that because I don't have time. At the same time, I would also like to introduce you to the cameraman. Hi, I'm Luca, the video maker in this case, and also a PhD student in this lab. And my research is focusing on uh, alternative supplementary cementitious materials. Thank you very much.